Hello, I am Robert, a humble messenger of the law of one. I don't know what else to do but to say I love you. It's my pleasure to share with you conscious channeling of LL Research. I am Hatan, and I greet you this evening in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We who are in the creator's service do thank you most heartily for allowing us to be with you this evening. This evening we would touch briefly upon an aspect of service. We have been concentrating in our talks with you upon the discovery of your inner self and the seed of love within you. This evening we will talk about love in action. For there is no tree planted without help and crop gathered without reapers. We have cautioned you many times not to be aggressive or abrasive in your contacts with others. But we would speak to you this evening about the confidence of the knowledge of who you are and whose glory you may manifest in this earth world. It is a responsibility to know, for then you must serve. And we would like you to be aware that in each contact that you make, you are manifesting the Creator in some manner. When you think back, my friends, to the point in time when you yourself became aware of the kingdom of the Creator and of all that there was to gain from the knowledge and the being of it. You will understand how precious it is to be able to share that experience with others. It is written that there is great joy when one lost sheep has been brought back into the fold. More joy than all 99 of the other sheep engendered, for they were already found. We encourage you not to be elite or apart from the world in which you live. You may see yourselves as somewhat different only because you have become conscious of who you are. Use your being to allow those about you to dwell in such an atmosphere that they too have the potential of realizing who they are also. If you see those about you as perfect beings, you are seeing them clearly. If you see them and react to them in their emotional, mental, and physical illusionary patterns, you are not 
seeing them clearly. You are not then allowing them the freedom to reach the point which was so precious to you when you reached it. It is true, my friends, there is often nothing that you can say, little that you can do to help those whom you meet, but there is much that you can be and much that you can conceive in your mind as the identity of those people who may to the outer eye be less than perfect. To your inner eye, my friends, to that patient, timeless inner eye, each being is perfect manifesting in the eternal present. Give that gift in love, for you are disciples of a path of service. And to expend all of your energy upon yourself will block you from gaining more understanding. You must use what you have learned until it becomes a part of you, until it becomes second nature. We have been speaking of the pathway of service and we would say to you that this is a path which few of your people have chosen to travel. The path which is most frequently traveled is the one which seeks only self-gratification. The attempt to feel what is understood to be the self with the material wealth of your people and of your culture. The filling of the self with things which have matter. We have been speaking of the pathway of service that so few of your people have chosen to follow. The pathway which we suggest for your serious consideration. For to serve is to allow that gift of the infinite creator, the energy which courses through your various bodies to continue its flow and to be shared by your fellow creatures. So few of your people have been able to discern the nature of service for their ways have been circling around, shall we say, unto themselves, so that the energy which is their daily gift of the Creator stays only within their being as they seek to fill themselves with the various material rewards of your third dimensional world. Now it would seem to the surface observer that the things of your world are indeed worth pursuing, for so many pursue them, and so much is made of their possessions. But we would suggest to you that as you go forth in your daily round of activities, 
that you consider the fact that each person you meet is the creator. And what else can one do when one knows that he or she is also the creator? Other than to serve the creator. My friends, what else can one do other than serve the creator? We would leave you with this question. Understand, we give you but very poor food, my friends, for we must speak to you in words. But as we have said, we hope you have food for thought, for the path of service, as opposed to the path of non-service, is an illusion and one which you must only come to grips with within yourself. We cannot express to you the paradoxes of your illusion. The difference between that which seems and that which is. For many are the actions which look the same and yet are diametrically opposite in intention and in effect in the thought world. Therefore, my friends, look to your thoughts and let your thoughts create your actions, not the other way around. Above all, realize that you are in a divine flow of perfect love into which you may tap as into an ever-flowing fountain, cascading, scintillizing, full of light, full of energy. It is easiest to do so in meditation, although there are other ways having to do with service to your fellow beings and a realization of the unity of all of us. We ask you this, choose at any moment that you can, stop and choose. It is your path, it is your illusion, it is your thought, it is your action. Refresh yourself in meditation on a daily basis and live the joyous life of love in action. I am Hatan, and we have spoken long enough through this instrument. We will leave you now that one of our brothers and sisters of the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator may speak. We leave you in the love and the light of the Infinite One. I am Hatan Adone Vasu Baragas. <laughs>